What's up guys? So today we're going to be talking about Terra types and specifically changing them using Terra shards. So I've got this armor rogue here that one of my mods, Greeny, got from a sandwich buff that I shared them. They got two shiny char cadets, so they traded one to me and I evolved it into this armor rogue and I want to get it set up for my VGC team. But it's currently Terra type fire and a lot of people are running Terra type grass so that it can resist earthquake and stay alive and other good stuff and also get stab energy ball for Don Dozo. Very useful stuff. So I need to get grass terra shards but here is the problem i only have i only have seven so i only have seven that means i need 43 more in order to do this but fear not because i have the answers <laughs> I have a method for getting a lot of these very quickly, and it's not duping. This is something anybody can do. And of course, being the sandwich lord that I am, it has to do with sandwiches. So without further ado, let's let's kick it off. Let's let's see what the deal is. So what I have on my screen here is Cecil Bowen's wonderful sandwich simulator. A lot of people in the sandwich video asked me if someone would make like a simulator for the sandwiches at some point so people could just plug in ingredients without having to test them in game. And we finally have it. It's not 100% perfect, but using this, I was able to come up with a recipe for every single type that gives you raid power level two without having to use an Herba Mystica, which is really, really useful because raid power level two gives you two extra drops from raids. Raid power level one only gives you one drop and raid power level three requires an Herba Mystica. Two extra rewards for no Herba Mystica is definitely the sweet spot and the buff lasts for 30 minutes. So step one is we need to make a raid power grass two sandwich. And that's what I'm going to do. Now these sandwiches aren't the easiest thing in the world to make. And I'll cover some of them like, they kind of fall into three different categories of like sausage hell, egg hell, and then normal recipes. And I'll uh, I'll go over some of those later in the video. So stay tuned and we'll talk about the recipes themselves. But first, let's finish the setup for farming these raid crystals as fast and efficiently as possible. So since I'm going to be using raid power grass level two, what I need is grass type raids, right? Stands to reason that you would need grass type raids to get grass type shards. And so what I've done is make sure that on my map, I have a lot of grass raids that I know the location of and can get to easily. So I've got two right here that I know I can access easily. And then I've got one, two, three, four in the desert. That's six raids that I can get to very, very quickly, which is really, really helpful. Um, if you're going to try and be as efficient as possible, you want to make sure that you've got a good number of raids on your map before you run the buff and know where you're going to go. Now, let's say you wanted to farm ghost type shards. You only got three ghost type raids on the entire map here. We got one, two, three, and then there's none anywhere up here. So that one would be really bad. So what would we do? So you can just leave your map open, press home, go into your system menu, head down to system, and just move the date forward by a single day. And then when we pop back into the game, whoop, you'll see the raids just refreshed. And now you'll check again. It's like, okay, now I got one, two, uh, still only like two or three ghost raids, not ideal, but you would just do that. You would just keep re-rolling the map until you got one that was really good for the type that you wanted. So step one is we need to figure out what sandwich we're gonna make. Step two is we need to set up the map so that we have a lot of raids for that type on the map. And then I'm actually going to reset so I can get back to my grass map before the date skip. Make sure to set my day back to what it was so it doesn't update when I boot the game, go back to 12.6. And now when I boot the game, I should have my grass map back. Yep, and when I load it in, I have my four grass raids right there and my two grass raids right there. So that's six grass raids that I can do really quick. I'm gonna fly out there and get ready uh, to get started with the 30 minute buff. So I'm gonna put up the buff. Uh, I'm gonna farm raids for 30 minutes. I've already got Pokemon prepared to farm said raids. I've got my level 100 fire type Sarah Ledge, who's just classically drained attack and speed, you know the deal with a life orb, and then a Terra type flying booster energy Salamence that is almost mostly attack and speed uh, that gets the acrobatics boost after it uses the booster energy, very useful combo. So those two should be able to handle any of the grass raids we come across, probably deal with them in one to two hits because we want to be able to do things as fast as possible, right? And now for the hard part, we need to save. I'll just save right here because I'm about to make a sandwich in case I fuck up the sandwich and you'll see what I mean this these sandwiches are not like the sparkling power sandwiches these sandwiches are monstrosities because it turns out that in order to get raid power level two you need to meet two requirements you need to get over 180 points for the type based on the ingredients and you need to get over 100 points for raid and so in order to get that single player without using Urban Mystica you need to get really creative with your recipes and so looking at my list we're gonna need four eggs two potato tortillas, curry powder, pepper, and then double whipped cream. So this egg situation is gonna be a mess and we have to get every single egg on there. I'm gonna try my best. 
Well, all right, so we're gonna need four eggs. One, two, three, four. We need two potato tortillas, one, two. And then we're going to need two whipped creams, a pepper, and a curry powder. And we'll just use a silver pick. And now for the fun part. Okay, so what I like to do for these ones that have a lot of eggs, step one is to lay down a layer of eggs onto your bread. Uh, sometimes they're gonna be sideways, sometimes they're gonna be up and down. I like to get, you can kind of fit it like this. You can get, oh, see, it gave me another up and down. That's annoying. Okay, I'll put that on the edge. All right, this one's sideways. I can drop that right next to this one. And then hopefully this one's up and down. All right, cool. So we have our first layer of egg. Now we're gonna put the potato tortillas on top of the egg and try to get it so both of them can sit flat on the sandwich. There we go. And it's looking a little precarious, but I think we'll be all right. Now we just have to get all the eggs onto the potato tortillas. We got a sideways egg that can go on the side there. Got another vertical egg. We'll put that over here. Uh, it's looking pretty wobbly. We got another vertical egg. Hopefully that fits right here. All right, we got it on. Little sideways egg. All right, she's barely holding. We got one last egg. Let's see if we can get it in there. And then top bread, you throw that away. We don't mess around with top bread when we got sandwiches like this. Thankfully, you don't need it. And it looks like I got everything on. If even one egg had fallen, we probably wouldn't have gotten the power we wanted. So when it comes to these egg sandwiches, I really, really, really recommend that you do that. Oh, what a masterpiece. What an absolute masterpiece that is. Raid power two grass. We're in there. All right, so we got 30 minutes. It's time to move. We got to be quick. We started with seven grass shards. Let's see how many we have when we're done. My first one is over here. All right, we got a lichen rock. Uh, we can just do that alone. I think we'll be fine. All right, this is a four star, so I should be able to just swords dance, turn one, and then clean things up. Yeah, that Acceler Rock's not going to do much. I'm level 100. All right, Bitter Blade. Hopefully this kills. Oh, yeah. Clean sweep. All right, so that thing's gone. Let's see how many shards we got. I don't even bother catching them when I'm farming because it just wastes time having to do all that catching animation. You can just get the rewards like this. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five shards. Not bad for a... Uh, or no, just one, two, three, four. So we got four shards for a four star. That's not bad. And it only took a couple minutes. And then once it's done, you can just hit right on the D-pad. I still got 27 minutes left. We got plenty of buff. So let's hit up this one. And this is why it's so important to have them close by because you want to spend as little time navigating around the world as possible. We want to maximize the amount of time we're spending in these raids. All right, we got Florges, five star. It's pretty good. Let's do it. It's a five star. So I'll probably do the triple swords dance. Really give it the business here. All right, we're boosting up, boosting up. Doesn't look like my teammate's doing a lot of damage. So he shouldn't clear the boost anytime soon. That'll dance. That's fun. Do one more swords dance here. All right, we're at plus six. Please don't clear my boosts. All right, still pedal dancing. We're in good, we're in good shape. All right, bitter blade. Let's see what you got. Boom. Oh my God, what a nuke. Still gonna have to do one more bitter blade after it's all said and done, but that was a pretty good amount of damage. Oh God, it's gonna take a million years to do all this bullshit. Can't wait to attack. And there we go. That one's cleaned up. Five stars should get some pretty juicy rewards. Hoping for like six or seven shards, maybe. We got one, two, three, four, and no extra ones. That's too bad. Very unfortunate. You only get two extra drops. Sometimes you just get the XP candies. That's just the way it is. It's random. Got to deal with it. We're just trying to give ourselves the best chance we can of getting as many shards in half an hour as possible. All right, I've got four raids left before I got to change the map. So let's go into Asado Desert and start cleaning these up. All right, so why other Hefe is finishing up farming those raids. Let's do what I promised and talk about these sandwiches for a little bit, huh? So here is the Imager album, which I will have linked in the description that contains all the recipes for raid power level two. And like I said, they kind of fall into a few different categories, right? Like this bug power one is uh, falls under the sausage hell category. It's got three pieces of chorizo. So that's nine individual sausages, two potato salads, and then three pieces of cherry tomatoes. So that's a lot of stuff to fit onto one bread, right? And then you've got other ones, like this is uh, one of the pre-made recipes for Raid Power Dark. It's just fried filet, lettuce, potato salad. For the recipes that have this, this is obviously better because these are like simple sandwiches that you can make with not many ingredients, but not every type has one like this. And ones like Dragon and Bug fall into this sausage hell category. Let's see if I can find another good sausage hell. Yeah, fighting, look at this, four herbed sausages, two potato tortillas. These get kind of insane. So you got our sausage hell, we got our egg hell. This one's got three eggs, two potato salads and a potato tortilla for fairy. Uh, I actually did this one in testing and it came out looking absolutely ridiculous. I'll put that on screen for you. But let's uh, let's take a look at how this works, right? Let's go into Cecil Bowen's calculator and see why this gets us raid power bug level two and why it's so precarious, why we need so many ingredients, right? When we pop into Cecil Bowen's calculator, let's just pop in the recipe for that bug power sandwich. Cherry tomatoes, three chorizo, two potato salad, pepper, and three whipped creams. One cherry tomato, three chorizos, uh, two potato salads, a pepper, and three whipped creams. And see, that gives us raid power bug level two, but like, why does it give us raid power bug level two? How did I figure this out? Well, to do that, we're gonna have to turn off simple mode. 
when you turn off simple mode and then make sure you have to click this this little expand button to make sure to see all the individual values for the pieces we can see sort of what's going on here so before we look at the individual ingredients let's look at the final sandwich right so the final sandwich has raid at 118 uh, it's at 118 because we're getting an extra 100 because sweet and hot are the two highest value flavors in the sandwich They're sort of like a flavor bonus system Where if depending on what your most prominent flavors are you get an extra bonus to a certain power So in this case, we're getting hundred extra raid points because we're 73 sweet and 52 hot and then our bug typing is over 186 and so because raid is the number one power bug is the number one type we wind up with raid power bug as the first thing in the list and you'll see how precarious this is because i can even simulate if i were to miss a piece of chorizo like if i only got two pieces of chorizo then bug is only at 174 so i have to get everything on the bread to get raid power bug level two and get to get over that 180 threshold um, so that's a good thing to note while you're trying to make these sandwiches and I'm going to make this bug one in game to show you how to deal with these sausage hell style recipes. I already showed you the egg one, but uh, showing you how to deal with these sausage ones will save you a lot of headaches. All right, so bug power raid level two. We're gonna need one cherry tomato. We're gonna need three chorizos and two potato salads. And then we're gonna need pepper and three whipped creams, one, two, three. And so the, the secret with these is to put all your hot dogs down on the bread first. We're gonna build sort of a Lincoln log tower of chorizos. And this is literally just a hot dog sandwich. And this is the most ridiculous, this is literally eating an entire bag of hot dogs at once, which is just ridiculous. Like, I can't even imagine the caloric intake of this sandwich. Like each one of these hot dogs has to be like, 200 <laughs> 200 i'll put one out of there and one there so we got all of our sausage on the bread now we have to figure out how to get these potato salads involved i think i'm just going to put them up on the slants there and have them tilt in just like that and then the cherry tomatoes we only have three of them we can probably just sort of drop them in the middle there and the hot dog lattice will do the trick oh no see we lost the cherry tomato I guarantee without one cherry tomato, we don't get raid power bug level two. So maybe what I should have done is put the, the cherry tomatoes on first and then put the potato salads on top of that. Let's see what power we got. Oh, we actually did get it. So we can afford to drop one cherry tomato in this case. That's good. We got a little bit of leniency. It's not always strict, but if I dropped the chorizo, we would have been out of luck. So that's how you deal with these more complicated raid recipes. Let's check back in on past Hefe and his grass shard farming adventure. Ooh, five star Amoongus, that's great, let's do it. All right, same strategy as the Florgus. we're just gonna get to plus six, hopefully it doesn't clear our boost before then. It might use Spore, in which case I'll need to use a heal chair to get rid of my, oh, it's just gonna clear Smog me immediately. Okay, well that's annoying, please don't do that again. There's the Spore. Oh wow, I'm really, really gonna enjoy fighting this Amoongus. Hopefully it doesn't clear Smog me again. It did, all right, so I'm not even gonna bother doing boosts anymore, I'm just gonna try and get to Terra as soon as possible. Cause this thing's just gonna keep Sporing and clear Smogging, this might be a long one. Fortunately, not every not everyone can be a clean one-shotter. You know, it's not always a good matchup. All right, we're still doing decent damage. Shoot, I got spored. Should have healed up. All right, there's the shield. All right, let's get rid of this sleep. If you don't know, cheering gets rid of sleep. Very useful. Oh, nice. I got poison. That means I can't be slept anymore. Good idea to bring a guts Pokemon against like a Moongus. All right, finally, I can tear and do some real damage. Guy's just taking forever with his attacks. Let me go. Yo, he just keeps spamming. Let me go. All right, it looks like it actually let me beat it, even though it looks like time run out. Woo! God, they gave me one more attack. Thank God. All right, Amoongus was a little scary, but it didn't ruin the run. Hopefully, it gave us a good chunk of shards to make up for how much time that took. Oh, we got an Urban Mystica. A little bitter herb. Not bad. We got one, two, three, four shards and some Pomic Berries. Unfortunately, the Sandwich Buff not paying right now. See how much time we got left right on the deep end. We still got 16 minutes left on the buff. That's not bad. Oh, a little three-star palm out. That should be easy. We should be able to bitter blade it twice and finish this one off. Shit, one bitter blade might do it. Oh, nice. One clean bitter blade. Swipe that up. The easiest shards I ever made. All right, we got one, two, only two shards. Man, buff really not paying right now. Ooh, four-star Torkoal. Perfect. Get the extra fire damage. You love to see it. All right, that one bitter blade did some good damage. 
Oh, he's gonna yawn. Oh, the classic. Good thing I did Swords Dance. All right, we're gonna fall asleep, but we can use the heal chair to unsleep. Oh, he had clear smog too. Good thing I didn't Swords Dance. Oh, man, he's shell smashing? This could be GG. Oh, the yawn, he really wants to test me. Then with that Terra Bitter Blade, that should end it. And yeah, there we go, Torkoal down. All right, we got one, two, and still no shards, man. This raid buff, not paying at all. Very unfortunate that I spent all this time putting all these recipes together only to not get any extra shards from using them. But theoretically, it is better. it's better to have them than not have them. All right, that should be raid number six. And I've still got 10 minutes left. I've still got some time. And we've gotten quite a few shards here. Oh, not if I'm wasting time running into flo floets. Ooh, five-star Sarah Ledge. Now that means we need to use our Salamence. This could be a tough one. Unless it's weak armor, I maybe could have used... Sarah Ledge, but I guess we'll see. I think it'll be fine. I can probably get away with a few DDs. I might just go for damage out the gate, though. Just get my Terra up as soon as possible. Oh, Will-O-Wisp. Oh, no. I gotta heal that off. Can I please attack? Goodness me. All right, it's not weak armor, so it must be Flash Fire, so it's a good thing I did bring Sarah Ledge. It burned me again. Probably gonna put up its shield, but I should be able to Terra. We'll drop another heal. I can't click for some reason. There we go. Oh, my God. These Will-O-Wisps are killing me. These Will-O-Wisps killing me oh no it's swords dancing that uh, doesn't really bother me i'll do another heal up all right we should have this one in the bag shield is broken i finally dodged a will-o-wisp for the first time all battle all right we got one two three four five all right we got five shards it's not bad still not sure if our uh, raid buff is paying and i think that was the last raid on the map so i'm gonna have to update the map one more time so i could get lucky i could get unlucky Let's see how much time do i have left four minutes i'll probably have time for one more raid let's do a little date skip here and you can just do this during the buff won't disrupt your buff totally disconnected raids on my map updated let's find a grass type raid quick 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 there's one quick little three star dunce bars oh we may get two raids in this is gonna be quick one bitter blade and this should be in the bag done insta kill very quick love to see it here we got one two and no extras man i don't think our raid sandwich has literally given us a single extra shard we've gotten two extra drops on every raid and we haven't gotten a single extra shard super bad luck All right, let's see if we can find one more raid i know time is short time is of the essence oh please give me one more grass give me one more grass there's not a single grass on the map oh we got we got absolutely owned gotta do another day skip see if i can get one more in still got two minutes left Oh, come on. I need a W here. Oh, there's a grass type right by that. Ooh, it's very close to this fly point. It's another three star. We might even have enough time to get one more. Five star Serena. All right, here we go. This will be our last one. Hopefully it pays. And then we find out how much loot we got. <laughs> All right, hopefully Serena doesn't have any moves that clear boosts and I can just swords dance in her face. Power wave. Yeah, that's not going to do anything to me. All right, drop our third swords dance to get up to plus six. Puts up a reflect. Very annoying. But what are we going to do? Oh, it didn't put the shield up. That's pretty great for me. I must have just missed the threshold. This thing loves clearing my boosts. Still can't Terra. Hopefully next time I can. That should clean this up. All right. Serena is down. Oh, wait. It gets to attack me one more time. All right. Time for the moment of truth. Let's see. We got one, two, three, four, and no extras. Got some extra candies, though. That's, you know. All right. Moment of truth. Drum roll, please. And we are at 35 shards. So we were at seven. So we got 28 shards in 30 minutes. That's about a shard per minute. You know, if we had gotten lucky and maybe gotten a couple extra drops, we might be closer to 40, 45. But, you know, that's really not bad. One shard per minute. I think that's about as good as you can do without duping. You know, if you want to change a Pokemon's Terra type, takes about an hour, maybe a little bit less. Probably not more, as long as you're willing to use these tricks. So that's pretty cool. And of course, I diverted an entire day of my time to coming up with recipes for how to make level two raid power for every single type, only for it to literally pay me zero dividends when I make the actual video and uh, didn't get any extra shards. But, you know, so be it. Whether you want to use the sandwiches or not, that's up to you. You know, I went through the trouble of putting the recipes together along with the help of Happy Lappy from my Discord. Big thank you to Cecil Bowen for making the sandwich simulator tool. Very useful. I'll have the link for that in the description so you can try to come up with your own ridiculous sandwich recipes. And if you want to learn more about all the fun things that you can do with sandwiches in Scarlet and Violet, then check out this video where I cover all of the shiny sandwiches that give you shiny power level three and encounter power level three to make sure that the Pokemon that you want to find is spawning everywhere. It's a great video. Highly recommend checking it out. Until next time, peace.